So here we go everybody, as promised, I'm going to do a real world bill of the FX Impact. The regular gauge is currently about 135. I'm going to be filling it up to about 250. So we'll do a sound decibel meter reading while we're doing it. Later on, I'll also do another recording when I fill it next with it under the bench with just the airline coming up over the top into the FX so that it gives it more of a realistic sound level rather than being right on top of it. I will also time it, see how quickly it fills the bottle from 135-ish up to 250. Without further ado, let's get into it. Turn on the compressor. Let's get under there. And... That's the inverter started up. Just fired up the compressor. We'll take the blanket plug out. Connected onto the FX. Like so make sure you've got the pressure set to 50. We've got coolant running. Okay, so we've got everything set up. Make sure the bleed valve's open. We'll start her off. Close the bleed valve. Start firing. And then we'll see how long we take. Just hit pressure. Now we've got some movement on there. I'll probably end up doing a fast forward on this. I'll just uh, change the app to do a recording of the noise level. But I'll continue with the stopwatch so that doesn't get interrupted. There's the current sound level. That's pretty much right on it, and that's without me speaking, it's about 62 decibels. About one minute, call it two minutes. Two minutes for up to one second. It's always good while you're doing this to check with your pressure gauge and the meter on here as well, just to make sure that they're... So that's just about 200. Yep, and we're about the same on there, just in case one of the gauges is out, and then we can spot it early rather than over, over pressurizing the bottle. And as mentioned, what I've got is I've used in the internal water separator inside this because that's a direct feed straight into the actual uh, rifle. So we're coming up to five minutes. Here we go. Five minutes there, and we're currently at about two. 35 to 40. 5 minutes 13 seconds to 
on that there we are about 240 so it's slightly under so it just means I need to adjust these gauges slightly but it's done approximately 135 140 to about 240 so 100 to 110 bar roughly in 5 minutes 13 seconds there you go that's a real well fill of how long it takes it's a really good system again what we'll do depressurize it first then you can disconnect 